Hello guys. Long waited, flat tour, plus a random vlog. <laughs> See what I'm doing today. As my parents are not here, they're in their house. I'm alone in the flat, so quite a lot of tidier stuff to do. Follow me. Um, let's start from a flat tour. Okay, that's a start from the entrance. So that's the door behind me. And uh, let me flip the camera. So this is what I see when I enter the flat. Do you see the same big mess? Yeah, let's ignore that part and that start from the left. So as soon as you enter, there is a small hallway over here and on the left hand side is the little kitchen it's very very small but it has everything you need uh, considering we didn't purchase any equipment or uh, like furniture and stuff so those things are actually here before little sink over here we bought this cabinet ourselves because there's a little bit of lacking of storage space here uh, this is supposed to be this area is supposed to be for fridge but uh, the landlord got a bigger fridge so actually the fridge is in the living room so this is a little kitchen right. and on the right hand side when you walk through the door you will see a huge storage unit <laughs> Here are for the shoes and the random stuff you may need. So we put our kettle here because Emily rarely in this place. This is a little storage unit as well as a little chair. So you can pull it out and sit on the chair to change your shoes. And here they have so many storage spaces, which is great. You see? They have all sorts of shelves there. And are you ready to see this? Well, we put our random stuff here, but have a look. Can you see how many shoes you can actually get in? I think probably hundreds, right? I love it. Absolutely love it. Although this flat is fairly small, but the storage design and units are really, really good. And then you see a full length mirror. Then let's walk through the hallway. You see a little counter over here again. So we bought those small things just to help us store the glass and everything. And here's the fridge. I just zoomed out a little bit so you can actually see the whole area was to look like so this is our living and dining space so here already got a small dining table my camera by the way so today i'll be using both equipment and all the you know pictures on the walls yeah it was here they were here before we moved in and the landlord got a huge sofa which i kind of don't really like yeah my mom doesn't like it as well but hey we can't change this in oh by the way this is the huge fridge which we really like a double doors one and you see all emily's toys over here yeah today i need to tidy up this area anyway and they also have a, a little terrace uh it's a little bit messy because we bought our own washing machine that's the wash, wash machine that come with so we bought our own, which is this small one, as well as this like a sink, uh, portable sink. So you can use for multiple cleaning purpose. And then this is this side of the living room. So you can see the whole space. It's, it is okay. You know, it is sufficient enough. And then you will see is a little hallway over here connecting the living room and the bedroom space. Then let's move through. Bear with me because I'm still getting used to all these switches, matches, lighting stuff. So on the first door on the left is actually the um, toilet, the main toilet. Just 
not bad in there. Good size mirror. Hello. Mm -hmm. And then here we got a small room. Uh, it's called the kids' room, but my dad is currently sleeping here and Emily plays in here as well because he's a fairly small and very easy to watch overwatch um emily so we just need normally just one of us lying in bed <laughs> and watching emily jumping in and out from the the wardrobe because this one is empty but my dad is currently uh only sleeping in this room and on the opposite you see the second bedroom in this flat it is a good size. It is my mom's room. So you also have a huge wardrobe over here. And that's a decent size bed. Oh, by the way, do you guys know what's this? It's like a what's inflatable cushion massage machine. <laughs> yeah, my mom is very much into those, those technology massage machine stuff so she feels this is more convenient than a massage chair because you can massage here and flip over then you can just fall in sleep which is a very good idea and this is a japanese brand i think i tried once which is yeah very good power <laughs> let's put it that way and towards the end of the hallway which is emily and my room and I'm sorry guys if I make you feel a little bit dizzy as I'm first time, you know, working on this device holder. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So this is Emily and my room, which is very big size. It's the main bedroom. And that's a storage unit, which is very convenient. Those three boxes pretty much contained, well, 60, 70% of my makeup palettes and stuff which is really good and all this bad those things curtain which i you know who's going to put the blue and the purple together at least not this purple not this blue together but hey ho it's from the landlord and let me show you guys this little thing which i didn't know how to actually open to start with i thought it was just a small desk that you put your uh television your laptop on that now i try to open this drawer it was like uh, yeah there is nothing moves and until i realized there was a little handle here ready let me show you dun, 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 dun. how cute it is it's like a little dressing table well I took out some units just to fit all my stuff in, but have a look how cute it is. There is a very good size mirror over here. Then you have a closer up mirror. And the only downside is the lid that when you need to flip out, uh, you do actually need to pull this table forward. You pull it out. Then once you put it down there, you need to put push backwards. So that's a little bit inconvenient, but other than that, it's a very little cute thing and suits me perfectly, fit my purpose perfectly. And then huge wardrobe over here. Here is the ensuite bathroom, which is again, full of Emily's stuff. You guys have seen these little things already, right? And by the way, you know, I unboxed this little like a brush thing to clean the mirror. Yeah, not that good. Have a look. Have a look at the stripes on the mirror. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it's only like a quid, one pound, something like that. So give that oh i haven't even washed my face yet i literally dropped off uh emily and come over straight to this flat so i haven't had breakfast either <laughs> but uh that's normally my routine now drop emily 
first so I can have extra like five ten minutes in bed. And face toner home facial pro which this is the like a uh, uh, small samples so I took all the samples over here which is easier and then recently I started trying this one YSL pure shots this is a night reboost serum what's it look like it look like like double layers this has like a more f like water per se on the top than serum oil face oil at the bottom so what they need to do is shake it i used this much already um i th i think i need a longer time to figure that out uh one thing i like and dislike is the packaging the packaging look like this the whole presentation which is good but the pump is oh god let me show you it's just so hard to use see do you see oh can you see how aggressive it is oh wow how how you guys have a dot it made a dot on my camera the formulation it is quite light in a way considering there are face oil inside uh, but I'm combined oily skin for me I don't feel it's too oily for me eh? and it doesn't cause my skin to produce additional oils uh, but if you are younger skin uh, especially if you are towards combined oily to oily then I don't recommend this one I think this could be still a little bit too uh, heavy for you. Uh, I think you need to be reach certain age. Let's put it that way. I need to use a little bit longer time to actually put my thoughts on. Finish with sunblock. I'm not going to put a full makeup on but just to uh, make myself look fresh. Now done the makeup and going to cook something for myself. Have I had breakfast? Only had a cup of coffee, but I need another one. I'm not an expert of making like handmade <laughs> coffee so I normally use coffee machine but uh, once I'm learning this like uh, DIY coffee I was told I don't have to press the powder in this filter but I just feel like uh, I don't know I just feel better to press a little bit I just feel like if the coffee is a little bit condensed it gets a stronger which I need Are you a milky coffee person or more black coffee person? I am a 
milky milky coffee person <laughs> same as tea if I drink uh, English breakfast tea in UK I prefer to add quite a lot of milk in that I need a strong milky tea so same applies to my coffee strong but milky coffee I think today I'll cook this. I'll show you what it is. I think if you're Chinese, you totally know what it is. But if you're not, you wonder, keep watching. Rice noodle. You start from cold water. Let the boil. And once it's boiled, just let it cook for about uh, 10 minutes depends the hardness of the noodle itself if you like a little bit hard then you cook about eight to nine minutes if you like a little bit softer probably 10 to 15 minutes well while we waiting for the noodle to be cooked uh, let's open another package This is to put in uh, my unsweet bathroom. Let me show you. It is something very, very clever. How cute it is! It looks like a paint, right? It is actually a storage unit. You know what? Let me set up timer before I forgot my noodle. Hey Siri. Uh huh. Set up timer for ten minutes. Ten minutes, counting down. Let's put this in the bathroom together. As the toilet is quite small, so. When I, after showering Emily and when I trying to dry her, there has kind of no places to put her dressing gown, her, her clothes stuff. So when I search on Taobao, there is a, a very little cute storage of this appeared in front of me. I was like, oh my God, this is genius. Absolutely genius. It's very, very simple and you don't need to drill a hole as well. I think that's something I really, really like the concept in China. If you buy a lot of storage unit, even like a soap stand, it's all drilling free. So I really like the concept of no holes. I don't like making holes on the wall, especially for rented places in UK as well. Even sometimes you want to drill a hole, you have to get permission from the landlord. Which is totally understandable. If I was a landlord, I would do the same because I don't want the people just to drilling on my wall, you know, making holes. They give you a little holder like this. It's like a double tape. You peel this off and stick to the places you like and it's become a very, very steady. And then you can put this picture onto the wall. Now, let's get started. You just need to clean the area where you want to put the hanger, is what's called. Oh, 
hole is not big enough actually you know not the attention to detail oh primers here you know what let me sort out noodles now I come back for this let's hope my noodle isn't overly cooked There are steps for cooking this uh, noodle. So you get a fresh cold water again. Put in the noodle which we cooked earlier. Then you can start putting all these additionals in there. Uh, which the nice thing about this brand is you see the number. It has number two, number two, which is tell you what you need to put at which step which is very handy especially if you're not familiar with this and this is number three this two are chicken feet my husband hates this he didn't even want to see this but this is chicken feet some of us love it i love it so number three this is number three as well this is like a, a tofu and this is beef I think a beef I can put in now. Uh, this is the uh, peanut. Oh, those are number twos. This is this one is dried vegetable. Uh, this one is vinegar. Put at last. Those are cooked egg as well. This. Uh, this instant noodle is actually called smelly noodles so a lot of people can't stand well some of the people can't stand the smell it's like a smelly tofu the smell and the taste is completely different thing when you taste it it's so yummy it's the noodle when you smell you feel a little bit mm, but I don't mind and I, I actually got used to the smell but the taste is just so nice And this is the chili sauce. If you can't eat too much spice, then don't put all in. I'm only going to put half in. Oh, I think I put probably put too much water, but anyway. Heat this up to boil again, then we put the rest, the number three in. This post, I think the holes at the back uh, is just about like millimeters apart from the, you know, the school, the holder on the wall. So I made it here, you can see, just broke here a little bit, I made it slightly more and uh, let's give another go. Hey, use my head. <laughs> I just dropped my camera and my microphone holder is broken so I'm um, just going to use my camera's own microphone to record the rest of the video sorry guys oh okay I think finally so how does it work as you open this, it has this drop off, you see, and then there is like a little holding you that then you can put your um, dressing gown, your towers, everything you need for bath or for shower. <laughs> Very convenient once you put on the wall, and then when you don't need it, you just fold it in. Become like a picture on the wall. Let's hope my noodles are ready. I think my maybe overcooked a little bit, but it's okay. Let's put all number three in.
Oh, yummy. I think I made a mistake to take an extra bowl out. I think I can just eat in here. Now it's about half past one and the nursery sent uh, pictures that when they're taking a nap. <laughs> Very cute. And today I need to leave a little bit earlier because I need to put my car on charge so I need to leave about three o'clock. And yeah, I need to start some cleaning. There is a reason why we push the coffee table closer to the couch uh, sofa. It's because uh, for Emily's safety, because uh, Emily likes to jump in up and down. And we are trying to create a in comparison a safe area for her. And the edges of this coffee table, which is quite good, they don't have sharp corners, it's all rounded corners, which is great. And then we leave this area kind of just for Emily, so she can play her toys, her stuff on here, but not drop herself into the gap in case even she jumps, let's say worst case scenario, she falls, she would still fall on the table and there are kind of like spaces before she would fall onto the floor. So, that's why. the break. <laughs> what I got here is a dry passion fruit. See, 
Right now. This is the dried lime. Sliced lemon. And then you put still water, sparkling water as you like. I'm going to add sparkling water. Oh, this is refreshing. No sugar, high vitamin C, low calorie as well. I need to do a little bit of online shopping as I still got a um, few things I need to do for the new flat and a couple of toys that Emily wanted. So it's also mommy's chilling time. Now it's nearly uh, quarter past three in the afternoon so I'm on the way back now as I need to uh, charge off my car pick up my mom and then pick up Emily then we go to my parents house and yes I also removed my makeup because I think my cold is coming out again I've been sneezing I've been you know running nose the whole afternoon and I've been wiping my nose all the time so the foundations or the tint surround my nose are pretty much gone i just have runny nose watery eyes the whole afternoon so i before i left the flat you know what let me just remove everything remove everything um no makeup for cold <laughs> let's put it that way so that's to the ending here i hope you guys also like this type of like very chill out relaxed random vlog <laughs> per se video uh, i know today is fairly kind of like a, a boring day but it's one of a very common day of my life so um just to have a little bit of fun with you guys to share with you guys so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you guys know i will have more mixed different style of the video coming up so see you next time